Hey everybody, welcome to the That Hiking Guy YouTube channel. My name is Chris and I'm taking you on a truck camping overnighter to Kentucky to Fish Pond Lake. I'm going to meet up with some bushcraft YouTubers and it's going to be a good time, so let's go. Okay guys, I have made it to the bushcraft YouTube meetup and there's a lot of people here. It's an awesome turnout and this place, this Fish Pond Lake is just glorious it's beautiful um, I'll do a pan here in a minute but I'm also gonna get some drone footage because I think I can drone here and I brought the Mavic so let me show you what's going on right now over here they are doing a class wild edibles class and so people are learning how to identify wild edibles um, there's a pit toilet up there but you can see We've got folks set up, and they're set up for a bonfire. But look at that lake, just glorious. And look at, and then look what this, look what the cat drug in here. <laughs> it's Kentucky Woodsman. I actually got to meet him. Well, I've been trying to meet this dude for well over a year. We've tried ever state park and <laughs> right. hiking trail around this state and just right. now able to get it to work out so yep This kind of sucks. <laughs> oh well, hopefully it'll pass. I don't think there's going to be a bonfire tonight. So one good thing about having a truck and not a tent is that I don't have to worry about a wet tent putting one back up. Or, yeah, rolling one back up in the morning. Basically, all I gotta do is get out of bed, pee, have coffee, and I'm, I'm gone. So, truck camping is the way, kids. Love it. Love it. Alright, just finished making dinner. Ribeye and vegetables. I'm gonna have some apple peach tea. And the sun is back out. And I didn't know this, but apparently there's a potluck. And uh, so I I was supposed to bring something, so didn't know. I'm also gonna have some grapes. So it's important that all of you know exactly what I'm going to eat. But here's my setup. I made this in my little, my little stove here. And it worked out perfectly. We call that like this, eh? oh, man, look at that. A little bit of everything. Yeah, me. I know I've got some the blue. So it's potluck, a little bit of everything going on there. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere. I got so much junk in there. Looks delicious. Fine. Look at these are good. Thank you. We're providing you got silverware up here. Or You'll be proud, too. Yeah, That's been good. sitting over in the van most all afternoon. What? That cheese ball. Well, it's okay. You'll be proud, isn't it? Oh, wow. 
Chili Mac? I've been buying this stuff for being some chicken. I mean, uh, rice. Lasagna, or goulash. Ray's Goulash. famous goulash. Nice. Make it, but I take two pieces of that ever meat. Oh, really? I'll grab you a bone. One day later. There's just all kinds of cool stuff going on here. All kinds of Dutch oven cooking. If you use antifreeze, it doesn't take but just a few seconds. Glycerin takes a while. Yeah, yeah antifreeze has it in there too, that's right. There's a lot of stuff that has, that, has ingredients. And you can take a teaspoon of this and put it in a swim pool and turn it purple just about. I mean, it, it's, it stains. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a multi, yeah, multi-purpose. It's a, it's a strong oxidizer. Yeah, I'm just say, just a real strong oxidizer. <laughs> so that's what you use it for at the water. Uh, yeah, I used well, to. Pathfinder gathering last uh, time. Uh, if you put too much, it turns the water bottles. pink. And, and uh, there, there you go. go. I use those. Uh, there you go. Oh, cool. Oh, that's purple. That was yeah, like, they go like that, uh, and it pokes holes in it, and squirts oh, glycerin in it. Then they drop it out of the airplane. You know. All right, I'm here with Chris, Kentucky Woodsman, and thank you, dude, for inviting me to this. I do appreciate it. I mean, I learned a lot. I met a lot. Everybody was just very nice. Um, took me under their wing to teach me things. And also, thank you for wearing that awesome shirt. You're welcome. I mean, that, you know, smelling roses, that's... that's smelling roses is awesome. That's dude. a collector's item right there. He, he wanted to be here, but he couldn't make it, so I wear his shirt in, <laughs> in honor of him. All right. And Chris, I want to say something right now. Okay. I know you had a long drive. I told you this already, but I want everybody to know he drove down from Indianapolis yesterday, spent the evening with us, and is getting up this morning and heading right back. That's a long drive. That's a lot of commitment. So thank you for coming down. Oh, absolutely. I enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Okay. So, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, or I may not have mentioned earlier, <clears throat> just the nicest people bushcrafters are. Um, I'm not a bushcrafter, never claimed to be one, but on this trip I learned how to do a bow drill, I learned how to do flint and steel, both good um, things, to, skills to have, and they were very patient with me, and just the nicest folks, a lot of YouTube channels represented out here, and um, man, just a beautiful spot. So it was worth driving six hours to come here, five and a half, um, just even for an overnight, just because I got to meet all these people. So. Mm -hmm.